Welcome to informative stall. Here in this video we are going to tell you about 49 beautiful places in Pakistan. This video is consist of 7 parts. You can also call these as best of 7. In the first part of this video, we are going to tell you about 7 beautiful places that worth a visit in Gilgit Baltistan. In second part of video, we are going to tell you about 7 Beautiful Place of Heaven on Earth, Azad Kashmir. In third part of this video, we are going to tell you about 7 Beautiful Places of Switzerland of Pakistan, KPK Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. In fourth part of this video, we are going to tell you about 7 Best Places in Balochistan. In fifth part of this video, we are going to tell you about 7 Beautiful Places of Sindh Province. In 6th part of this video, we are going to tell you about 7 best places of Punjab. Finally in last part of this video, we are going to tell you about 7 best places from all over Pakistan. Which includes only man-made structures. So let's start our today's video. Pakistan is one of the few countries with such a dynamic landscape, rivers, deserts, lakes, waterfalls, springs, glaciers. We seem to have it all in great wealth and Gilgit Baltistan gives a blossom to tourism in Pakistan. The region is known to be surrounded by the highest and greatest number of mountains around the world, a land where the three extreme mountains of the Himalaya, Karakoram and Hindu Kush joint. The home to rare vegetation and wildlife, the friendly citizens, spiritual landscapes and fascinating waterfalls make this province a favorite destination for tourists. According to the tourist preferences a list of top 7 places is collected number 1 Hansa Valley. Hansa Valley is about 3 hours drive from Gilgit. Hansa Valley is a mountainous valley in the Gilgit Baltistan province of Pakistan. Hansa Valley is at extreme north of Pakistan. Hansa Valley is an amazing valley, it has many snow-packed mountains. This valley is consist of three regions i.e. Upper Hansa Gozal, Central Hansa and Lower Hansa. Hansa Valley has great attraction for tourists. Tourists all over the world visit Hansa Valley here but best time to visit Hansa Valley is from May to October. When we talk about the temperature of Hansa Valley, in May max temp is 26 degrees Celsius while minimum is 15 degrees Celsius and in October max temp 10 degrees Celsius and minimum temp 0 degrees Celsius. Explore Altit and Vaulted Fort. Before we go ahead kindly subscribe my channel it really motivates me to make more videos and please thumbs up number 2 Skaldui in the extreme north of Pakistan. Skardu the central valley of Gilgit Baltistan is an height of beauty, calmness and wilderness. Paths to some of the world's highest mountains that includes K2, K3 and Gashabrum. All are connected through this valley. These towering mountains attract thousands of climbers from all over the world each year. Some have even lost their lives in efforts to summit these steep climbs. During the seven-hour journey, one is welcomed with several streams, springs, and the hospitality of the local people. Some of the notable places of Skaldu are of course its lake Satpara and Kachura then the Shigar and Skaldu Fort is the most famous places in all. Number 3 Kaplu Valley Kaplu is the administrative capital of Dorkhanje district of Gilgit Baltistan in Pakistan. It is one of the historical and ancient towns from Gilgit. Kaplu is the gateway to Mashrabram peak lying 103 km in East Skaldu. It was the second largest kingdom of Yago dynasty. It guarded the trade route to Ladakh along the Shok River. In Kaplu there are many historical places like the beautiful Chakshon Mosque and many others. Kaplu is only friendly by road. Kaplu Valley is much popular in tourists from all over world because of its panoramic views and provides a facility for mountaineering and trekking. Number 4 Shigar Valley One of the amazing wonders in Gilgit Baltistan, there lay a valley Shigar along with the Shigar River. It is about 170 km from Skaldu. This is a great gateway to the Karakoram Mountains via Shigar. The town of Shigar is the largest settlement in Valley, Shigar Fort, along Amberik Mosque and Killing Room Mosque. Khanka Imula Shigar, Hashupai Bhagmarapi Ranga, Re Masjid K2 Base Camp. 
Astana of Syed Mirza Yar is some famous places of Shigar Valley. There are several villages in the valley. The valley is very fertile and rich in fruits, apples, cherries, apricots, pears and walnut. The amazement of valley increased if one explores the mighty cold desert in the valley. The cold desert is one of its own types. The hanging clouds give the memorable experience of lifetime. Askol is the last station in the Shigar Valley, which is still far from the high mountains. The town is a popular site for tourists and trekkers and covers many historical buildings of architectural significance associated with the Nurbakshi Sufi community. Number 5 Gopis Valley About 70 miles in West Gilgit along with river is a valley popularly known as Gopis. Gopis Valley in Gaiza district is full of beautiful landscapes and wonderful views. The turquoise water of river flowing along the road in surrounding fields and forests presents are very charming for tourists. A few kilometers from the valley of Gopis there lie a charming lake is Khalti Lake. It is famous for being habitat of trout fish. The lake is formed due to stretch of river near the village of Khalti. In summer the lakes turn into dark blue add more charm to scene. The lake usually freezes during winter one can easily walk on. There is beautiful restaurant near the Khalti Lake. Number 6 Astor Valley Astor Valley is located in Astor district in the Pakistani region of Gilgit Baltistan. The valley, linked up Nangapabad to the east, is about 120 km. The entrance of the valley is courtyard, located about 60 km southeast of Gilgit. Astor is a desired location for the trekker and provide a magic charm bounding views to the nature excited in photographers. The valley has Rama Lake and pastures are the most famous tourist attraction in the region. The climate of the valley changes according to the season, it's mild in summer and harsh in winters. Astor town is an excellent base for many of climbing, trekking and jeep riding activities. A broad area starting from the Ningapa Bar to Dusa and Kamri has enough of interest for tourists and adventure factor. Number 7 Nagar Valley In the north of Pakistan lie an absolutely stunning district Nagar, previously known as Brushal. This place is a lakeside paradise. Nagar Valley is situated at an elevation of 2438 meters. Nagar Khas is the paramount of Nagar Valley. Nagar region the remarkable scenery and puzzling views throughout the valley. It is situated at front of Hunza. Moreover Hoopa is another most beautiful place in Nagar a land of snow-clad mountains but the sheer power of glaciers to carve out new landscapes makes them complexly gorgeous too. The valley is surrounded by Rakaposhi mountain whereas the Dira peak stands tall in Manapin. Tourism in Gilgit Baltistan is growing day by day because of security and tourists want to know the other side of Pakistan that is not portrayed in news for show. Pakistan is a safe and sound country like other in the world. Tourists want to explore the beauties of the country. There is much worth seeing places to visit. Brace yourselves. What you are about to know will charm you to the point that you start to vibrate in your very own seat out of excitement and zest to travel to Azad Kashmir, Pakistan. Thinking of where to plan your next vacation? Europe can wait, you rather need to count on the top attractions in Pakistan. Why? Here is why. Here are the top attractions in Azad Kashmir you need to see. Number 1. Neelam Valley tourist attractions are required to be fascinating. This one is for show. You will find blue waters and greenery, beautiful and gorgeous. This is God's wonderful gift to mankind, fortunately, located in Azad Kashmir, Pakistan. Any even suggestingly top attractions in Pakistan would not forget Neelam Valley. It has many suburbs and small town villages, lakes, hiking drags mountain passes and other kinds of grand highlights which find it among the amazing tourist attractions. Before we go ahead kindly subscribe my channel it really motivates me to make more videos and please thumbs up number 2. Ravalikot a famous town in Azad Kashmir which is also known to be a district headquarter of Poonch. An attractive valley among high hills. 
located about 80 kilometers away from Islamabad in Rawalpindi. Since it is only 80 kilometers, being a northern area, it is bound that you have to visit in winter. So it is always advised that you visit in summer. Summer season favors explaining the beautiful beauty of Ravalakot. Getting around in this area, you must visit the famous tourist attractions of Patapani, Sudhangali and Tolipir located here. Number 3. Banjosa Lake You will definitely find a way here if you get around Ravalakot. This is ideally the area boasting a considerable amount of greenery. Green is the color you will find here mostly, followed by a little red. Above a clear lake are tall trees covering a large area outside. You usually require heading out there in summer due to a hospitable weather, since temperature hardly exceeds 25 degrees Celsius. As warm as summer gets, winter is forbiddingly cooler, while snowfall sheets it all around. Imagine having those photos in your camera, lovely, when the autumn season is on the border. Banjosa is saturated in shades of gold and reddish brown. Number 4. Dhelam Valley This particular valley of Azad Kashmir is a host of domestic and international tourists. Crowding all around in summer. A natural wonder that people seem to find is the curling river passing from east to west among the huge mountains. A region called Lipo Valley in Jhelum is one of the popular tourist attractions people love to visit. Number 5. Ramkot Fort This amazing land comes on a climbing, bordered by River Jhelum. This tourist attraction in Azad Kashmir is asking for your cameras. Ramkot Fort bespeaks of a modern Muslim military design of buildings. This area lays the foundation of excitement for people come into contact with their desire to travel. Number 6. Toli Peer Just look at it. Just look at how far it goes. It seems to have everything in terms of greenery you could ask for in location. A famous peak that you will find a way about if you head to Ravalkot or if you are not aware of it. You will learn about it while you stay in Ravalkot. Located 8800 above sea level, this peak makes you feel like you are on top of everything. Number 7. Pir Chinasi situated in the capital of Azad Kashmir, Muzaffarabad. This area is one of the top tourist attractions in Pakistan. Pir Chinzai is an amazing spot to explore. You are on the run for your patience as well as your safety. Despite its alluring location, you always require being very careful of moving around. Its history would introduce you to Hasrat Shah Hussain, a saint of Greater Kashmir, whose shrine is basically located in this area. Forget what you know about the green valleys of Switzerland, the snow-capped peaks of Nepal, or the crashing water of Niagara Falls. The first place in list is Malam Jabba. Malam Jabba is a hill station in Hindu Kush mountain, range nearly 40 km from Sedu Sharif in Sawat Valley. Ever imagined you could ski resort in Pakistan? A ski resort is a resort developed for skiing, snowboarding and other winter sports. Malam Jabba in KPK is the right choice, the best ski resort you would find in Pakistan. It also comprises of two Buddhist stupas. Six religious foundations that you would find around it. Amazing such monuments being present at such altitudes. The second place in list is Lake Seful Maluk. Seful Maluk is located in Mansera district of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, about 9 km north of Naran. Ranked fifth by the Gorgian as one of top attractions of Pakistan. This one is a luxury, one that would force your eyes twice to acknowledge reality or that it isn't a dream. Words can hardly explain this place's attraction. The deep green, clear as crystal, freezing water surface among huge glaciers is one part of it. A classical story goes about this area of a prince and a snow queen is still residing and dancing above water surface every month on 14th of lunar calendar. Should you get along with a local native by chance, they would certainly run you through this story. 
The third place in list is Nathia Gali. Nathia Gali is located midway and an hour's drive away from Aptabad and Mari. Double the time if you are driving from Islamabad. Head out during May, June, July and August. It would be best suited since during these months the temperature is supportable for a visitor. Generally in KPK, you must have heard about this one a lot. It is more about seeing this one rather anyway. It is simple, said that this area is a network of scenic beauty. It's a host of hiking and great weather that is a lot cooler because of its wonderful altitude. Top attractions of Pakistan can be scattered in beauty. The fourth place in list is Mushkpuri. Presenting nature, nothing like anything or anywhere you have seen before. Known to be the second highest hill of Gilead and located in the hilly areas of Aptabad. Although there is a hard journey of nearly three hours to the top, which takes your breath away, climb like you had never had experience before. Must explore the water pond at the top, which accompanies amazing reflection of sky and trees. That is not it yet, because a beautiful side of Kashmir Valley can also be seen from Mushkuri's top. So basically, not only this awesome location offers you its essential beauty, but also previews of surrounding places. So much to offer in one place. The fifth place in list is the Yubia National Park, covering an area of approximately 3,128 hectares. This place is exactly one in KPK. This is home to migrating birds and animals linked to disappearance threat. The black bear and the leopards dangle in common sight. Two species, Coclas peasant and Kalij peasant, exactly subjected to disappearance, are found here. One's inner child and sense of adventure come into play upon adventure because it is surprising to witness such animals here. If you happen to be keen of hiking, tramp along the pipeline which leads to Dunga Gali after passing through Ayubia National Park. The sixth place in list is Savat Valley. It requires a passport to Switzerland, says who? You had it, right? Your own country is credible the support of surprises for you every time you head north. Savat is known to be Pakistan's Switzerland dedicated to being one of the greenest valleys and easily accessible areas. Regular flights to and fro of Islamabad can take you there. You can also head from Peshawar. This place is ideal for archaeology. Spending honeymoons and hiking, take a half day tour to explore artifacts here, dedicated the rest of hours witnessing the stunning show of nature as it happens. Savat Valley is a promise of dreams and recognized as one of the top attractions in KPK. The seventh place in list is Kalash Valley. Kalash Valley is a beautiful as its people, situated in Chitral. It presents three valleys, Birrar, Rumbhar, and Bumbrit. The Kalash people originate from the oldest tribe of South Asia and assert their wonderful culture, language, festival, and art along the standards of global popularity in tourist attractions. Local people run the show here. Their hospitality is unique and part of what makes this area worth a visit. Balochistan became a part of Pakistan, the province that makes 44% of Pakistan's total area. The mineral, rich, resourceful and God-gifted lands of Balochistan has a side that go beyond its imagination. Their side is amazing and puzzling beauty, supplying travelers to the top attractions of Balochistan. The first place to visit in Balochistan or the first wander of Balochistan is Istosa Island, Gwadar Pasni. Also known as Jazeera Haftalar or Island of the Seven Hills, is a small Pakistani island in Arabian Sea, also the largest island in Pakistan. 
It is the height of Balochistan's undetermined beauty, a great tourist attraction to be sure. The second place to visit in Balochistan or the second wonder of Balochistan is Kundmalir Beach. The Kundmalir Beach is one of the most interesting beaches and definitely one of the top tourist attraction in Pakistan. In the last couple of years, a lot of people who started traveling to Kundmalir and companies from Karachi have benefited as many money as they could out of it. The third place to visit in Balochistan or the third wonder of Balochistan is the Hunan Jil Koita. This is how the Hunan lake looks in winters, frozen ice covered and amazing. This is where people from all over Pakistan go first when they visit Koita. Only about 8 km away from the city, the Hanan lake is the perfect escape for the locals. Fourth place to visit in Balochistan or the fourth wonder of Balochistan is Jalmaksi. Famous dessert safari and the yearly dessert rally provides huge crowds and sponsors every year. Rally fans from all over Pakistan round up in one place for stay till the rally ends. The dessert-like plains of Jalmaksi offer the best route in Pakistan for the people who like to off-road. Definitely one of Pakistan's top attractions. The fifth place to visit in Balochistan or the fifth wonder of Balochistan is wadi e bolan wadi e bolan is a long stretch of mountains valley with blue water running in between. The place has historical and attractive importance. It was where the first railway system of Pakistan was established by British, also the valley that frames Pir Gaib. A place from water originates named as Pir Gai. The sixth place to visit in Blochistan or the sixth wonder of Blochistan is Hingol National Park. Colorful looking mountains, rare and outlandish animals including the Mark Core and several others. Surrounded by surface blue water, what more could one ask for in a tourist attraction of Blochistan? The seventh place to visit in Balochistan or the seventh wonder of Balochistan is Qaid Azam Residency Ziyarat. Father of the nation, Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah spent his days of illness in this wooden cottage in Ziyarat. Definitely one of the top tourist attractions of Pakistan, the place holds historic importance. Sindh is also called as Gate of Islam. When Islam spread in subcontinent, the first place to enter Islam in subcontinent is Sindh province of Pakistan. That's why Sindh is called as Gate of Islam. The first place to visit in Sindh or the first wonder of Sindh is Makli Necropolis, Thatta. Makli Necropolis is one of the largest necropolises in the world. Ornate graves and tombs stretch for kilometers. Spread over an area of 10 square kilometers near the city of Thatta in Pakistan province of Sindh. The site houses approximately 5 lakh to 1 million tombs built over a course of a 400 year period. The second place to visit in Sindh or the second wonder of Sindh is Resikot Fort. Resikot Fort, also known as Renikot. Renikot is a historical Talpur fort near St. Jamshoro district. Renikot Fort is also known as the Great Wall of Sindh and is believed to be the world's largest fort with a boundary of approximately 32 kilometers. Renikot Fort is 90 km to the north of Hyderabad on the Indus Highway. The fort is huge, connecting several black mountains of the Kirtar Hills. The third place to visit in Sindh or the third wonder of Sindh is Gorkil Hill Station Dadu. Gorkil Station is one of the most radiant slope station of Sindh arranged at the height of Kirtar Mountains, 94 km northwest of Dadu city. 
are under constructed place of interest yet easy going by great visitors the mountain interfaces its end with the other area blochistan other than the creating site the slope station considered as a superb milestone with a normal temperature of 20 degrees centigrade in summer or 0 degrees centigrade in winter the fourth place to visit in sin or the fourth wonder of sin is chok handi tombs the chok handi tombs form an early islamic memorial park situated 29 km east of karachi the tombs are notable for their elaborate stand stone statues the tombs are similar in style to the elaborate tombs at the makli necropolis near thatta and are built in the memorial architectural style typical of lower sindh the fifth place to visit in sindh or the fifth wonder of sindh is kor digi fort the kor digi fort a fort of the daughter formerly known as fort ahmed abad is an 18th century talpur era fort located in the town of kor digi in kharpur district about 25 miles east of the indus river at the edge of the third district the four site above is a pre harappan civilization archaeological site dating to 2500 to 2800 bc the sixth place to visit in sind or the sixth wonder of sind is shah jahan masjid tatta The Shah Jahan Masjid also known as Jamia Masjid of Thatta is a 17th century building that serves as the central mosque for the city of Thatta. The masjid is considered to have the most elaborate display of tile work in South Asia and is also notable for its geometric brickwork a decorative element that is unusual for Mughal period masjids. The seventh place to visit in Sindh or the seventh wonder of Sindh is Faiz Mahal, Kharpur. The Faiz Mahal is a palace in Kharpur, Sindh, Pakistan. It was built by Mir Sohrab Khan in 1798 as a principal building serving as the ruler's court for the royal palace complex of Talpur rulers of the Kharpur dynasty. Originally it included the ruler's chamber along with 16 watching rooms for courtiers and guest rooms for royal guests alongside the darbar and dining halls Additionally there was the hathi khana for the royal elephant and the horses stables The word Punjab means five waters. The name describe the area consist of five rivers is Pakistan's most populous province. The first place to visit in Punjab or the first wonder of Punjab is Noor Mahal. The Noor Mahal is a palace in Bahawalpur. It was built in 1872. It belonged to the Nawabs of Bahawalpur. There are a lot of old things present in it. It includes many nawabs used things. There are many old swords, old currency notes and coins, old laws that were made in it that time. An old piano that nawab used to play, old furniture used by nawabs, etc. These all things used by nawabs is still available in Noor Mahal. The second place to visit in Punjab or the second wonder of Punjab is Khewra Salt Mine. The Khewra Salt Mine or Mayo Salt Mine is located in Khewra north of Pind Dadan Khan and administrative subdivision of Jhelum district. The salt reserves at Khewra were discovered when Alexander crossed the Jhelum and Miawali region. Khewra Salt Mine is a major tourist attraction with around 2 to 5 lakh visitors a year. 
There are numerous pools of salty water inside. The third place to visit in Punjab or the third wonder of Punjab is Shish Mahal Lahore Fort. The Shish Mahal was built by Emperor Shah Jahan. It was built in the middle of Jahangir's rule. The front consisting of five cusped marble curves supported by the coupled columns opens into the courtyard. The inclined spandrels and bases are inlaid with valuable stones. The fourth place to visit in Punjab or the fourth wonder of Punjab is Shalamar Gardens, Lahore. The Shalamar Gardens, also known in English as the Shalimar Gardens, are a Mughal garden complex located in Lahore. The gardens date from the period when the Mughal Emperor was at its artistic and visual peak. And Shalamar Gardens are now one of Pakistan's most popular tourist destinations. Constructions of garden began on 12 June 1641 and took 18 months to complete. The fifth place to visit in Punjab or the fifth wonder of Punjab is Bashai Masjid. The Bashai Masjid is a Mughal era mosque in Lahore. The masjid is located west of Lahore Fort along the borders of the well city of Lahore and is widely considered to be one of the Lahore most iconic landmarks. The Bashai Mosque was built by Emperor Aurangzeb in 1671 with construction of the mosque lasting for two years until 1673. The masjid is an important example of Mughal architecture with an exterior that is decorated with curved red stained stone with marble tile. The sixth place to visit in Punjab or the sixth founder of Punjab is Tomb of Jahangir. The Tomb of Jahangir is a 17th century museum built for the Mughal Emperor Jahangir. The museum dates from 1637 and is located in Shah Darabagh in Lahore along the banks of Ravi River. The site is famous for its interior that is extensively embellished with paintings and marble and is exterior that is richly decorated with Petra Dara. Place to visit in Punjab or the seventh founder of Punjab is Rothas Fort. Rothas Fort is a 16th century fort located near the city of Jhelum. The fort was built during the control of Sher Shah Suri. The fort was also designed to suppress the local Gahkar tribes of the Potoha region. The Gakhar tribes were the allies of the Mughal Emperor and refused to recognize the suzerainty of Sher Shah Suri. The fort is one of the largest and the most terrible in the subcontinent. Rothas Fort was never stormed by the force and, and has survived remarkably intact. As we all know, Pakistan includes in most beautiful countries of the world. Almighty Allah bless Pakistan beautiful lakes, mountains, natural forests, cold areas, but in particular this video we talk about 7 wonders of Pakistan, which includes only man-made structures of Pakistan excluding the natural beauty. The first wonder of Pakistan is Islamia College Peshawar. Islamia College Peshawar was founded by the personal initiatives led by Sir S. A. Kayyum and Sir George Rose Kippel in 1913. It is one of the oldest institutions of higher education in Pakistan and its historical roots are traced from the culminating point of Aligarh movement. The university learning in arts, languages, humanities, social sciences and modern sciences. The second wonder of Pakistan is Princes of Hope. This is a statue founded in Hingol National Park near Balochistan's Makran Coast. The statue stands namelessly tall and alone since a long time. 
The Hollywood actress Angelina Jolie was inspired by this natural gem during her visit in 2002 and named it the Princess of Hope. The third wonder of Pakistan is Mojodaro. Mojodaro is an archaeological site in province of Sindh, Pakistan, built around 2500 BC. It was one of the largest settlements of the ancient Indus Valley civilization. and one of the world's earliest major cities concurrent with the civilizations of ancient egypt fourth founder of pakistan is faisal masjid faisal masjid is a mosque in islamabad it is located on the foothills of margla hills in islamabad the masjid features a modern design consisting of eight sides of real shell and is inspired by a bedouin tent The masjid is a major tourist attraction and referred as a modern and influential feature of Islamic architecture. The fifth wonder of Pakistan is Minare Pakistan. The Minare Pakistan the tower was designed and supervised by Nasiruddin Murad Khan, a Russian-born Pakistani architect and civil engineer. The foundation stone was laid on 23rd March 1960. Construction took 8 years and was completed on 21 October 1968. The base is 8 meters above the ground. The tower rises about 62 meters on the base. The total height of the minar is 70 meters above the ground. The sixth wonder of Pakistan is Pakistan Monument. The Pakistan Monument is a national museum and heritage museum. located on the western shikarparian hills in islamabad the monument was constructed to symbolize the unity of pakistani people it is dedicated to the people of pakistan who sacrificed their today for the better tomorrow its elevation makes the monument visible from across the islamabad rawalpindi metropolitan area and is popular tourist destination covering a total area of 2.8 hectares the design of the monument is rooted in the rich mogal architecture of the subcontinent the seventh wonder of pakistan is gurdwara darbar sahib kartarpur also called kartarpur sahib is a gurdwara in kartarpur the world biggest gurdwara located in shikargarh narawal district in the punjab province of pakistan It is built on the historic site where the founder of Sikhism Guru Nanak settled and assembled the Sikh community. The gurdwara is also notable for its location near the border between Pakistan and India. The last wonder of Pakistan is Mazar-e-Qaid, also known as Jinnah Museum or National Museum. It is the final resting place of Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the great leader, the founder of Pakistan. Mazar-e-Qaid designed in 1960s modern style. The museum also contains the tomb of his sister Madre Millat, mother of the nation Fatima Jinnah, and date of Liaquat Ali Khan, the first prime minister of Pakistan. Suggest me the the topic of next video in comment section. If you like the video then thumbs up for the video. Thanks for watching.